everyone, welcome back to An Edited Home, which last time I called An Edited Life, but that's the name of my book. This is the name of the little mini YouTube series that I'm putting together. I was getting a wee bit confused, but An Edited Home is the YouTube series that I'm making, hopefully full of helpful organization tips for you. I'm gonna take you through each room in our home and share with you the organization tips that have just made things a little bit more streamlined, a little bit tidier, and just made life generally a bit easier. And in today's episode, I'm gonna talk you through the bedroom. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give you a little room tour first and then share with you my top five storage tips for the bedroom. And then also share one very, very special tip at the end that if you're lacking in space at all, you're lacking in square footage is the one tip that you're going to need. The one tip that's gonna save you. So stay tuned till the end for that. If you missed the first episode in this little new series that I've got going on, then check out it in the corner there. Is it there? There, it's there. That was the kitchen and that has brilliant tips in, if I do say so myself. I love the organization in our kitchen, but onto the bedroom, roll the intro. <laughs> So firstly, we're kicking off with a little room tour. So this is my corner of the bedroom. This is my side of the bed. This is my bedside table. Um, our bedside tables and our lamps are from West Elm. Our bed is from Hills, and all of the bedding is from Laradoot, aside from the big musty throw, which is from Soho Home. Um, but I think I've got a video or a blog post where I basically link up all of these things. I'll pop that down below for you in case you're interested. Um, but yeah, this is the nightstand, the laundry basket the massive print that was way bigger than I ever thought it would be, but I absolutely love, and I feel like it finishes off the room. It's a Rothko print, and I got it from a place called King and McGraw. Brilliant, love it. Then we come into our first, like, bigger storage moment, um, and this is basically split down the middle. We got this from Swoon Editions when we first moved in, which was like, five years ago now. But basically, I have one side of this, Mark has one side of this, and then we also have a bedding drawer in the middle, but I keep some bits in here. And then in this one here, and Mark has this one at the bottom and this one at the side, so it's just good to have a little bit more storage. And then onto my beauty moment. Oh, I forgot to mention, our ridiculous rubber plant that is now, like it's not that far from being like as tall as me. It just, it loves life. I give it like a little stroke every now and again. We talk to it, it loves this corner. One time, Mark thought that this was me standing in the window and like waved up to it, but it was literally just run a rubber plant. Right, beauty moment. I've just got a mirror, some brushes, and then just my everyday beauty bits. I'm always asked about this. It's from Oliver Bonus, but again, five years ago when we first moved in, this little table was from West Elm. That's a lie. It was from Oliver Bonus as well. This was a long time ago, guys. We've had this furniture in here basically since we moved, but I did swap this around and I think I had an Oliver Bonus stool. My friend took it and she's like reupholstered it. It looks great in her, I think she's got it in her front room, but I just got a Soho Home stool there and I love it. This is the selfie corner. You've probably seen this on the old Instagram. It's actually just, it's like an Ikea mirror, right? I think so. Yeah, I again, remember. just one of those things that we got when we first moved in and this is where it lives. It's kind of the perfect size. Um, but yeah, this is where I do my little da -da 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 thing. <laughs> and then if you do a quick spin around, we have the wardrobe. So on this side, we have my wardrobe, which I'm sure you're bored of. You've seen a million times already, that's that. And then this is Mark's wardrobe. Again, very beautifully organized, I know. I literally married someone that's tidier than me. Wild. And then this is Mark's side of the bed. And I have to say, plus points for this nightstand situation. <laughs> I feel like nightstands, we'll get onto that in a bit, but I feel like nightstands can be a real area of clutter in bedrooms, um, but I think we both do a good job of keeping it like not too crazy, which ultimately makes it look a little bit neater and makes it so much easier to clean because nightstands get dusty as hell. Onto the tips. Tip number one, under bed storage is your best friend. <laughs> um, get a bed in the first place that has under bed storage, whether it's one like we've got that just has, um, it has four drawers, so two on one side, two on the other, and they pull out to each side. I wouldn't actually say these are the best drawers. You can get some which have wheels on the bottom, and um, they've actually since updated this bed since we bought it, um, and I think there are ones with wheels which would just be so much easier. But it is so, so, so handy to have a bed with storage underneath it. I think actually the best ones are those ones that go, whew, 
Lily and Rich have one and it just looks ridiculously fun. But some examples of things that you could keep under your bed. Um, so in this drawer, I have all my occasion wear pieces for my capsule wardrobe, which sort of don't warrant being hung up because obviously I don't wear them that often, but I don't really wanna keep them in the loft because they're stuff that I do wear occasionally. Tip is in the name. And then under this one, I keep my fancy like high heel shoes all in their bags. Again, things that I don't wear all that often but are good to have on hand. And then also paperwork. Oh yeah, an accordion file with your paperwork. Brilliant idea just to keep it somewhere where you can get to it semi easily. Like ultimately you're gonna need to put bits and bobs in here, but also you don't need it out on display. Ta -da! <laughs> there you go, wouldn't even know it was there. Tip number two was a tip that I first heard Marie Kondo talk about in her book, what was it called? The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. There you go, I knew it was in my brain somewhere. And I read this tip and I was just like, that is the craziest tip. Who has time for that? Absolutely no way am I ever gonna do that. Then I started doing it and I realized actually it's such a nice, like a life tidying tip. This isn't gonna revolutionize your life, but I do feel that it makes like day-to-day -day life just a little bit easier. Mark's looking at me like, get on with the tip woman. The tip is, to unpack your bag every day. Whoa, whoa, that sounds horrible. I know, it sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. But, I mean, not that we're going anywhere anyway <laughs> at the time of currently filming this video, but I basically unpack my bag anytime I get back from London, anytime I get back from being out and about. So I actually keep my bags in here, but then I also keep things like my purse, a tote bag, portable phone charger, my vlog camera. And then I've got this little Kiehl's pouch, which has all sorts of things in. It's seen better days. It's a bit cloudy, but it's cool. It's got my tweezers. It's got headphones in, a pen, lip balm, SPF, Barocca, a tampon, the pen that I use to sign my book whenever I sign it. An edited life. I'll pop the link in the description box down below for you. Oh, links, Altoids. Do you want an Altoid? Yes, please. I have got clean hands. I'm going to pop one here for after we finish this section. But basically, this tip means that you're only ever taking with you what you need that day. So you're not carrying an umbrella when it's a boiling hot day, you're not carrying your sunglasses on a cloudy day. Um, so it's just one of those little tiny tweaks. It also means that things get lost far less easily. She says when, I just realized I, I do always lose my keys. How many times have I lost my keys in the last year? Twice. We all have our faults, you know, it happens. Um, but give it a go and it might be something that is helpful to you. It is to me. My third tip applies if you keep any beauty bits in your bedroom. So I feel like some people are gonna have it in their bathroom. If you're like me, you might have like a little amount and then you might have some in another room or you might just have all of your beauty stuff in the bedroom, which is fine. Like have it wherever you can fit it. But I would suggest having more of like an everyday edit out, or not necessarily on display, but kind of out to grab, just because it makes getting ready in the morning far, far, far quicker. You might be someone who actually likes having all of your stuff to pick from. Personally, I just find I get really indecisive. I don't know what I want to do. I'm panicking. I'm looking at my five primers. I don't know which one to use. So I quite like maybe once a week. I keep the rest of my beauty stuff in the office and I just sort of go in there like move stuff around, like cycle stuff in, cycle stuff out. And then I just have my everyday stuff here so that I'm not overwhelmed in the morning and I can just like use my current favorites on my face. But I would suggest if possible, keeping more of a daily edit out to grab. Not only does it look a bit neater, but it definitely helps in the morning when you're getting ready to make things a little bit faster. Tip number four is in regards to the bedside table, which I just feel is an area that so many of us are allowed to get real cluttered, real quickly. I have definitely been there. There was one point where I think I was about 17 books <laughs> like stacked up below this and Mark was getting so angry every time a new book arrived. He was like, you've got 17 books on your bedside table. Like it happens. However, I'm someone who just feels a lot more at peace when it is a little bit more streamlined in this area. Also, it's so much easier to clean. I'm the one who cleans the bedroom and geez, bedside tables get so dusty, it's disgusting. <laughs> but I do have one handy little hack, one thing that's really helped, especially if you've got a drawer in your bedside table. So we really like these bedside tables because they had open storage, which allows space for like books, that kind of thing. There's space for us to tuck our slippers <laughs> underneath, which again, was a requirement. But also there was that bit of closed storage, which we both like the idea of just to like throw bits and bobs in. And are you ready? Come on, come close for this. This is one of the best little organization things I have ever bought. Um, so it's actually extendable. So that's the normal size of it, but you can push it 
and then it fully extends, it fits this perfectly. I've got matches for my candles, my earplugs, I've got moisture things in here like hand creams, lip balms, cuticle stuff, and two pairs of AirPods because I just love, a, I love an AirPod, I really do. Bookmarks, that kind of thing, and there you go. Ta da Keeping it visually pleasing on the outside, but then also on the inside too. Honestly, sometimes I just come and I just, just have a little look, just have a little look. <laughs> I like to throw in a tip that feels a little bit more renovation based. And so if you're moving or you're planning on doing some slightly bigger renovations to your room, this is definitely something I would suggest. So for my fifth tip, if you're making over a bedroom, I would highly, highly recommend having whatever storage you have in the bedroom in terms of a wardrobe going all the way up to the ceiling. Like make the most of that space that you've got, like our previous wardrobes only came to about here and we were lacking all this space, all this space that we could have had at the top and it just means that we've got a little bit more storage for things like suitcases. What else is up there? <laughs> bags, I've got bags. Bags, bags, there you go. It's, it's really helpful for things that are obviously, you know, it's obviously tricky to get up there, like we have to get a stool or I have to like jump up or I do some kind of spider lady move, which I'm not gonna demonstrate now because it's definitely not safe. But it just means we have that little tiny extra area. And also it means that you don't have to dust the top of your wardrobe, which is perhaps one of the more satisfying tasks. Like, I no, I don't, I don't miss doing it because it is the worst task. It's rank. Every week I would get up there and just like, no, you don't even wanna know. Um, so really, really handy in terms of cleaning, but obviously handy in terms of storage as well. So for my final tip, the super space sailing section, can't remember what we called it last time, but we'll call it the same thing again. I have one tip for you and it is vacuum bags. <laughs> Seriously though, I've turned 30 recently and I don't know how I went 30 years of my life without doing the vacuum bag thing. I feel like a changed woman. I really, really do. Um, so you guys know I do the whole seasonal capsule wardrobe rejig thing. So at any time I've got like three seasons worth of clothes that aren't hanging up in my wardrobe because quite frankly, I don't have the space. And it's nice, it's just nice just to have your summer bits in there when it's summer, your spring bits in there when it's spring. You get me, we're already, we're already on the same page with that, it's cool. But I used to put the things that were out of season into suitcases which is great. I mean, it's a great use of space. Like I would still definitely recommend doing that if you're tight on space. It's a good way of filling up a suitcase with something that you wanna keep. Great, otherwise that's empty, unused space in there. But if you do have a little bit more surface area, these are just great. Like this is my whole, all the extras for my summer wardrobe. I mean, it's heavy as anything. Oh, girl, I need to keep up with Barbara but these are all of my additional summer bits and they've fitted, packed down, really, really thin, really easy to store. You could very easily just like pop this behind a sofa, underneath sofa, underneath your bed. We've got ours just up in the loft and it's, yeah, keeping everything really safe and oh my word, they are so, so, so fun to use. Like that moment when you squeeze out all the air, like oh my word, just like the most fun thing ever. So definitely my best space saving tip when it comes to clothing in your bedroom. So that is it, an edited home, the bedroom edition. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a mini little room tour, and then also my organization tips as well. Let me know if any of them come in handy for you. And if you like organization, this is your jam, then definitely check out my book. I will link it down below for you. There's like 300 pages on this, on the topic if you're interested. So I'll put that down there. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all well. And let us know what room you want us to do next. Living room, hallway, bathroom, or office are all still left to do. So what one do you fancy seeing? And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.